Good afternoon, everybody, or I probably should say good evening since I've let the day get away from me. Uh, we had a beautiful Sunday service with our online church service, and me and my husband ran, ran some errands and just took a lot of time to talk with each other and to get caught up from the week. I've had two words laid on my heart uh, through the day and through some Bible reading and scriptures that I just wanted to kind of throw out there. Those two words are duty versus desire. And in looking at these two words, I think a lot of times as Christians, we feel that we can check it off our list if we went to church, if we've had Bible reading, if we've said our prayers, and that meets the duty and that, that God will find pleasure in that, and that somehow we will be rewarded for being good, disciplined Christians. But the older I get and the further along in my walk, I realize that it's not about that legalism aspect that we can fall into, or it's not about that duty that I feel I have to do this right now and if I don't do this, if I don't get up early and have Bible reading in my Jesus time as I call it, then God will be mad and angry at me. And I want to challenge everyone to, to don't think or don't feel that way. Don't let the enemy get into your mind and try to convict you that just because you've not done everything that we think we should as Christians that God's not going to find favor with us. The other word is desire. Because you have duty on one hand, and I know from my childhood, I had a real uh, interesting upbringing where there were certain things on Sunday that you did and certain things on Sunday you did not do. I can remember being younger and there was a lot of stores that were not open on Sunday. And I can remember you always went to church on Sunday. You were not supposed to cut your grass or wash your car or do anything else like that. You were supposed to have Sunday to do nothing but go to church and to pray and to focus on God. And as I get older and my deeper walk, I realize that it's more that desire that God wants me to have to be to, to have time with Him. It's more that desire God wants me to to intercede and to pray and to study Jesus and to realize what God truly did by sending His Son Jesus here to earth. And you can recall, Jesus also battled some of these uh, challenging things about, uh, in Jesus' time, a lot of the <clears throat> Jews and the Pharisees, and they did not want Jesus healing people on the Sabbath, which was a very holy day to them. But yet Jesus still healed people anyway. And I am really trying hard to not focus so much on the duty of being a Christian, but making sure that my desire is to know Jesus more and to understand more of his walk on this on this earth and also just to praise God for what he has what he's given me through his son Jesus and a lot of that I had one Bible verse that was just kind of laid on my mind and it's in the book of Colossians and I'll read just a little bit in the book of Colossians before we wrap up I'm going to be reading in Colossians chapter 3 and I'm going to start at verse 23 and it says, whatever you do, work at it with all your heart, as working for the Lord, not for human masters, since you know that you will receive an inheritance from the Lord as a reward. It is the Lord Christ you are serving. Anyone who does wrong will be repaid for their wrongs, and there is no favoritism. And I found a lot of uh, a great um, comfort in that. And I'm going to be reminded myself this week that even though I have a job, just like everyone else does, and I, or a family that I'm going to be taking care of, and no matter what I am doing, I have that desire to do it. I'm working for the Lord. And it's not a duty. I'm not going to feel that I have to do something because if it's a duty um, or a ritual that I must do, I want to remind myself of that great desire that I have to serve God and to honor Jesus and all that he has done for me. Um, the other thing I just wrote down in my notes before we close is I just want to make sure that I want to worship God and, and I want to desire to have more intimacy with God. And I want to do that just because of the miraculous gift that God gave us through Jesus, his son. And it's nothing that I can do to earn it. He's already done it for me. Dear God, dear Heavenly Father, 
Thank you so much for being able to share in your desire for us to know you better. Dear Lord, remind me this week and help us all to remember that we are working towards you and the service of your kingdom. And that even though things might not go our way in our, our jobs or the bustle and hustle of our day, that we can always have that desire to spend time with you and that we want to praise you and lift you up so that we can have that intimacy and in knowing you. And dear Lord, I don't thank you enough for sacrificing your son for me. And I am constantly reminding myself how unworthy I am and how much you loved me. Amen. Everybody have a great week. I'm going to go ahead and finish up uh, preparing for supper and getting ready for the week. I just want to give you a little light talk. And remember, keep the desire and don't worry so much about duty or what you might not think God wants us to do. God just wants us to draw close to Him. Bye-bye.